Uh, Jack Music 45 coming through. I'll make this short. Remember the old saying, limited government? And I'm a former co uh, commissioner said one of the top priorities of government is to grow. And the more the government grows, the less freedom a, c a citizen has, in my opinion. Because, now, you know, I hear all these things that this is such a good idea. Well, if it's such a good idea, why hasn't the private sector gotten into it? We get tax dollars from private sector. I mean, there could be private sectors going to some of these businesses. You know, and then we have like seniors and everybody else. Right now, we have higher priorities, in my opinion. We can't even meet our needs in some aspects. Talk, we talked about this. One out of four people in seniors in Lake County they're predicting one out of three. We need the private sector to do more. And if you listen to, I listen to finance every day, at least four financial people. The next couple of years is not going to be good. And the thing about it is, we want a limited size of government. The larger the government grows, is not a good thing. It is not. And the thing about it is, like I'm repeating myself, if it's such a good idea, and we're, people, we can draw all this in, well, why isn't the, the private sector doing it? Because we get taxes from private sector also. So I just want to mention, just be careful. You know, like I said, many people in this county, they come before anything. You know, and the thing about it is, they can't afford their wants. And a lot of them can't afford their needs. And they've been paying taxes for how many years? 50, 60 years? So, just not, don't forget we the people. All right, thank you. Mr. President? Sir. If I could say, John, you know I'm with you. The smaller the government, the lower the taxes, the happier this person is. Uh, but there are times when you need to make an investment, whether it's a water sewer line, a road, or uh, an economic development project like this to actually build that industry. If you don't have those pieces of infrastructure, businesses are not going to risk spending $10 million to do a water sewer system in an area. They're just not. Even though they will make profit over the long term, nobody has the resources to take that starting point. Uh, and because you mentioned uh, our former colleague, Commissioner Ron Young, State Rep Ron Young, I would say, you know, if, if anyone needs to get a primer on the economic driver that the wineries are in Lake County and Ashtabula, you really do need to have a sit down and a glass of Ryan, wine with Ron. And he will tell you how the wineries have brought in many, many millions of times millions of dollars more in resources than we've invested. For very small investments, we've gotten enormous amounts back. We've talked about the million dollars of bed tax, roughly, that the Visitors Bureau receives. They get, I believe, about half the bed tax. I think the other half goes to the Port Authority, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, we get 3%, we get they get 2 Okay, so it's, it's a 3-2 split. Uh, but there is no bed tax if nobody goes to the hotels. And there was a time when there was no reason to visit Lake County aside from the fact that, well, you know, you had a family member there. Uh, maybe that was reason to have a small motel here or there. There's a reason why those hotels and motels are being packed now. So they're, they're eating what they kill, so to speak. If nobody's coming to the wine region, they're not getting those tax revenues. Uh, and that's why Commissioner Serino and I believe uh, uh, Commissioner Hammercheck, and I, uh, I forget who the third commissioner was at the time, whether it was Troy or, uh, or Young himself, uh, voted to implement um, the the funding for uh, the funding for the Port Authority because they recognized that there had to be uh, there had to be a funding source for economic development in the county for big projects that businesses couldn't individually do. So ultimately, this is about whether or not there's a surplus. Whether you're talking about a partnership with Geauga County Transit or you're talking about a partnership with the Wine Region, is it going to bring in more tax dollars than it costs? And so far, the wine region has brought in many, many, many times more tax dollars than has been invested by either Lake or Ashtabula counties, which means we have more resources for law enforcement, more resources to give discounts to seniors. If people aren't coming to Lake County and spending their money, uh, we're not going to have the sales tax revenue. We're not going to have the resources to meet these priorities. Bed taxes, sales taxes are a direct result of whether people come here and spend their money and a little bit of marketing goes a long way. We are the best place on earth, but not enough people know it. And that's why 
that's why I really tell anyone, if you want to get an understanding of what the wine region means to Lake County, I would talk to Commissioner, I talked to former State Rep Ron Young and why he dedicated such a significant portion of his career to cultivating that industry. They liked wine, that's why. <laughs> uh, and as long as we're getting... heard the reference to 3% versus 2%. Uh, the 3% goes directly to the Visitors Bureau for their general fund, their needs as they see fit. They have their own independent board. Uh, this board of commissioners, we appoint three members. They have, I believe, four that they appoint internally. Um, the Port Authority, the 2% uh, that they receive is uh, legislation that was uh, passed a few years back uh, for within one mile for lakeshore improvement. That's a key element. Uh, but the, the history to that is, and I, I think this gets lost, uh, Commissioner Young actually took the lead on raising taxes. I know he's infamous, uh, which is more than famous, that's more than famous. Uh, regarding he there it is he he saw the need it was con clear and convincing uh changed the laws in the state of ohio to accommodate that uh, our port was the lead agency moving that legislation forward and ron young was the lead legislator for that going back to our visitors bureau though for the longest time uh, they would receive two percent there was a one percent hold back the county commissioners of the day when that was first put in, the other 1% was used for the uh, East Lake Stadium. When that obligation was met, uh, that hold back continued for special projects that were of importance to this board. Uh, it was determined that it was appropriate to either uh, vacate that 1% or forward it directly onto the Visitors Bureau as was being done with the other 2%. Again, Commissioner Young, at that point he had switched from being uh, Representative Young to Commissioner Young, rather than vacating or lowering the tax, he saw the wisdom in sending that over to the Visitors Bureau for them to do their good work and continue that. And if the commissioners find a project of interest, we go to them and say, hey, take a look at. Um, so that relationship is there. I, I thought that was appropriate to show what a uh, integral and uh, somewhat unseen role uh, Representative Young, Commissioner Young, as he continued forward. And yes, he does love his winery.